This video is sponsored by Train World, America's discount model train store since 1968. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're rigging my layout for night running. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you are eligible for the DIY and Digital 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. Go ahead and visit trainworld.com for all your model railroading needs. They have all the major scales. I'm talking N, H, O, O, S, G, all those major scales. Check them out. One of my favorite places to buy stuff online. That's Train World. Dot com and I want to thank them for sponsoring this giveaway. So today we're going to be rigging my layout for night running and yeah that's what it means. We're putting some lights on our layout. Now this is a big big project and I'm not going to get to all of it in this video but we got to start somewhere. So let's go ahead and get started. To light the layout we're going to be using these pre-wired LEDs for the building, these lighted automobiles, these LED street lights, and this power distribution board. Now we're going to start with the simplest install, which is installing the lighted automobiles. I start by drilling a hole where I want the car to go. I take it slow to minimize the damage to the existing scenery. Once I'm done, I go ahead and brush away the excess. You may want to use a vacuum cleaner. Then I run the wire for the lighted car down through my layout. Here is a link below to where I buy the cars. I then repeat the process for every car, and in some of them I actually use floral wire as a guide for the wires to get them through. I ended up installing four cars total. Now let's take a look at the removable city block that I built in a previous tutorial that I will link right up here. When I built the removable city block, I did create holes so that I could put lights in the buildings at a later time. I went ahead and placed the pre-wired LEDs into these holes. I also want street lights, so I used my pin vise to carefully make holes for the street lights. I then threaded the light wires through and I glued them into place. If the lights had a little bit of difficulty standing up on their own while the glue was drying, I used some floral wire to hold them in place. Now while that was drying, I took the time to install the power distribution board on the bottom of the layout. I simply used the board hold as a guide for my drill and then used the included screws to attach the board to the bottom of the layout. Now that the street lights were glued in place, it was time to wire all the wires from that city block into a single feeder. What I needed to do is connect all the wires to a single feeder wire so that I can save space on the distribution board and minimize the amount of holes I drilled in my layout. And since these wires are stranded, it made them very easy to twist together. And once I twisted them together, I soldered them in place. Okay, pause for a minute. One thing I actually did not realize when I was doing this, and this is a bit of a mess up on my part, is that the LEDs for the street lights actually have a different max voltage than the LEDs for the buildings or any other LEDs that I'm using. So I ended up having to unwire the LED street lights. I actually burnt out a couple of them, not realizing that they couldn't take the 12 volt power that I was using. They max out around three to five volts. And we're going to be going over installing those separately in a later video. So these wires are only so flexible and I had to make some space for them to run without making the city block sit crooked. I used some pliers to just pull out some foam and make some channels for the wires to run through. Once I had the wires in place, I was able to test it out. Now that I've done that test, I can go ahead and wire up everything to the distribution board. The great thing about this board is that it has push buttons to secure the wires in place rather than screwing or soldering. This makes wiring under the layout so much easier. 
The only thing I had left to do was to hook up the 12 volt power supply. Now you may notice a piece of yellow tape on one of the wire feeds. A lot of power supplies do not have their positive and negatives marked well. I like to take an LED and test which is which. I then put a piece of tape on the positive side. And here are the results. You can see I have two cars lit up and three buildings as well right here on the main street of my town. This was not the simplest project and it is ongoing, but it adds a lot of realism to the layout. For example, I actually wired up my fire station as well. And one thing you can see in addition to just putting lights inside the building is you can see that there are little tiny lights on the sides of the building. Those were actually done using plastic fiber optic lines. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a later video. So that is the beginning of rigging my layout for night running. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I'd love to know how you guys handle lighting for night operations on your layout. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're eligible for that 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates including the next wiring for lighting video that I do. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading!